Hey guys, it's Sebastian, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys a few examples of great product pages because a lot of people have been requesting I show them. I have been talking highly of how important product pages are and how important the structure is and I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how I personally make mine, but I will show you guys some examples because I have a challenge video coming out probably in a week or so, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I structure that product page and that website and everything like that, so I don't wanna be repetitive. But in this video, again, I'm just going to get into my computer, show you guys some examples, because there are some key factors that everyone needs to take into account and apply on their product page if they do wanna have success. Before we get into this, be sure to leave a like and click subscribe if you haven't already. Now that that is out of the way though, let's get into my computer. We're gonna go from the bare minimum, which is this punch-free automatic sensor door closer, to a really high class website that's, I wouldn't say high class, but it's just set up a little better than this one. But nonetheless, all of these have a great structure with their product page. So one of the main things before I get into all of this, the main things you guys need to know is people are very visual. They like seeing pictures of the product being used. They like seeing examples. They like quick words, like big bold words of the product being used or just something that hooks them. So like right off the bat, punch free automatic sensor door closer, um, big sale for here. I, that sounds a little weird, which is why it's the first one I'm gonna show you guys. But then it has a lot of big, bold words. And a lot of people don't like doing these types of photos, but they get your point across very quickly because if you guys haven't understood this before, when people are coming on and they're shopping, they just scroll through and scroll through and they quickly glance at all of these photos before they actually invest their time into reading all of the description. Now, the reason being, a lot of people are window shoppers and if they actually are interested and if they get hooked, they'll read more about the product. And if not, if you don't actually hook them, they'll just bounce off your site, which is not what you want at all. So if you scroll down, there's a multifunctional automatic door closer, automatically closes all doors. Now, when someone says that in my head, I'm like, what are they talking about? Like, is it a, is it a system that's electronic or like, how does it work? And then they show exactly how it works right here. So they hook it up, it's just a 3M little sheet and then you hook it to the door. Essentially, every time you open a door, it automatically pulls it closed, which is pretty cool. I personally wouldn't use it, but um, you know, to each their own. And then they have some examples of use, very suitable for home use, light office use, shed, ranch, and home office affordable. So that's good because in people's heads, now they're like, okay, well I have a light office, so this may work well, or I have a shed that I hate closing the door because I'm always busy or I'm holding stuff. So this product would work really well for myself. And then the next question people would probably have in their head is how do I install it? So the quick install says right here, they just have whole free 3M glue installation, firmness doesn't damage the wall, easy installation, high temperature resistance. So that answers a lot of questions. Do I have to drill into the wall? Do I have to bolt anything up? Or like, how does it work? And will this ruin my wall if I 3M it? What's the deal? So having this quick installation guide, it makes it very simple for consumers to understand if it's a good buy or not for them. And then they do have right here that they have quality tested it all uh, 50,000 times and that is the individual steel rope that pulls the door closed. So they're basically saying it's not gonna snap on you, which is, again, another good thing that backs them, uh, that backs the potential consumer. They have more confidence in the product. And then you get into specs. So like stuff like this is just important. You wanna have, again, like a visual and then some key points and then another visual and then some more key points. And then I always do something like this where I have specifications and then they've mentioned shipping times. I personally keep shipping times up here like near the product uh, price or something. So people know if they buy it now, they'll get it this date, or if they buy it now, they'll have free X day shipping, whether it's 12 days or 20 days or five days, that's the deal. And I always keep shipping pretty transparent because I don't want it to be where my customer support team has to manage that on the back end, And they're like, oh, I thought it was five day shipping and it's 20 day shipping. That's just a headache I don't wanna have to deal with. So I always just leave my shipping times up here and I don't like to hide them. A lot of people do hide them and it's just not, it's not of use long-term. You'll have a lot of upset customers if you do that. So this is the first product page and then they do have a sticky add to cart. That's really good. A lot of people should use them because sometimes once people have read the bottom of the description, they don't have a buy it now button. Like there's no button over here. So if you can just boom, click that button, that would be pretty good. And I would say this site is overall like a seven out of 10. The structure is good. I just personally don't like this theme. I believe it's the debut theme. I'm gonna check. Um, okay, so I actually don't know. But one of the funny things about people when they run stores, quick little side notes, a lot of people export their themes. So Brog Rao Shop, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but long story short, a lot of people just export their theme onto a new store. I can find all of your old stores if you do that. Um, so don't do that to make sure you're creating new themes and uploading your original theme file that isn't titled that or just change the name to it because 
I can come in and find everyone's old stores if they do something like that. That's also, this is Shopify Inspector, very helpful Google Chrome extension, but this is the first one. Um, again, I would say like seven out of 10, eight out of 10. It works well, it does the job. I just personally don't like this theme. And I feel like every dropshipper in 2018 and 19 used this theme, so it's just, not something I personally use anymore, but let's get into the next one. This next site is selling a mini projector. They're called pixelprojector.com, and these are very high ticket products. A lot of people sell projectors right now because everything going on in the world, a lot of people are home and want to watch movies with their family, and seeing this product as a good buy, um, a lot of people eat it up right now. So good product, but let's go through this landing page. So off the bat, they have 50% off on their first product page, which is, I, I don't really use that. Um, I, I personally just keep this sale right here and then I have a percentage off or something. I don't like adding something this salesy on my product photos, but I guess to each their own. Right here is the interesting part though. They have another 50% off sale mention where they say the retail price was $7.99, which this reflects that. And then they say the Indiegogo. So I'm not sure if they launched on Indiegogo or if someone else did and they're copying this, but they say the Indiegogo price is $4.49. Get it now at $3.99. And then once the promo ends, it's going to be $7.99. So if this works, this will instill a lot of urgency on all of the customers, making them buy right now. Because in their head, they are thinking once the promotion ends, this is going to spike up to almost $800. So they're like, this is a steal. I need to buy it now. And then they have another product photo where they say um, offer ends soon. So they're just really trying to push urgency. I personally don't do this much urgency at all. I don't believe that it's that helpful and it seems a little short term, but nonetheless, um, it, I guess it may be working for them because they're currently running ads. And then the main thing with this product is you need to know the features and how it works because I just see a box and I see that they have it titled the projector, but I don't know how it works. Personally, I would have inserted a GIF right here to show the product being used prior to mentioning the features and all of this stuff. I mean, maybe do one sale thing and then a GIF showing the product in use and then doing some features, but I definitely wouldn't put the features before the GIF because you need to hook the audience. It's not like they're sold right once they land on the website. They need to be sold even further, and you can do that by demonstrating the product being used, which is something very important. And then so, you know, you have all these features, and then I'm just gonna keep scrolling down. So they do have this right here. They're saying um, it's good brightness, and I'm not really too techy, so I don't know exactly what they're talking about here. But then they also do mention that they have good dimensions, like you can do 1080p. And then they say that this projector can project up to 240 inches. And then a GIF, finally, I would have definitely put that somewhere up here because it just needs to be done. People need to get hooked with the product and be like, oh my God, this is a cool product. Let's keep reading. I wanna show you guys why this converts well though. So you scroll down, you see save 50% off. You scroll down again, only 399, get the lowest price today. You scroll down, you have features and it's all in pretty bold lettering. And then you scroll down 200 uh, AN, SI lumens, I don't know what that means, but you scroll down and see that. And then you see the 1080p, and then you scroll down and see the 240 inches. It's all just very out there for you. Like you can easily see that stuff. And then you go down and it's touch control. So now you know, okay, I can control this just with the touch on top. And then you scroll down again, complete universal compatibility. So you see that you can use Bluetooth, AirPlay, USB, headphone jack, screen mirroring, HDMI. You can use all of those. And then you go down again and see the key points of the product versus all of these other competitors. And then pocket size, take it anywhere. So now they've informed people that it's a small enough product that you can hold it in your pocket, which again, like all of these things are just very important because you're telling the potential consumer how simple the product is to use and kind of why they need to buy it right now. So. That's pretty solid, they have a solid website. I wouldn't say it's the best. There are definitely some things they could change. Like I personally wouldn't do all of these lowest price today only pictures, that's just not me. But um, overall, good site. I would say like seven or eight out of 10 for this one as well. This next website, they are selling pool lights and they are RGB, so they light up rainbow colors, which is pretty cool. But the thing with this site is it's a little spammy for my taste, so I can go through some of these photos. Like they have some pretty, interesting badges on some of the photos and like a two-year warranty that just looks really pixelated. And then all of this stuff is just really pixelated. Nonetheless, the site converts really well because I've seen a lot of Facebook ads for this product. And then if you scroll down, they have in stock, only a few left, ships from the USA to the USA. So that's good that they are shipping from the USA. And then they have limited quantity and then they have another limited stock badge right here. And then another one, um, almost all customers buy four or more. Just off of these few key points, they have already 
instilled a little bit of scarcity and then they're also trying to increase their AOV. So that's good. Um, I personally wouldn't do this hardcore because I don't want to scare people off of my site. And then, like I mentioned, when people land on a, on a product page, they want to see how the product works. So you scroll down and they have some cool photos right here. I doubt that's the actual product. That looks like there's some high quality lights and stuff. So I don't really think that's their product. I think maybe in the pool, potentially, but not really sure. And then they show the product lighting up in all different colors. And then they have a collage right here of many examples using the product, which is cool. That's very important. No matter what product you're selling, you should always be demonstrating how the product works, where they can use it in their life and why they need it right now. So that's a good photo. And then they explain the remote right here. Some people may think that you have to change the color on the device itself. So when you can show them that there's a remote to use, that is very beneficial because now the customer has one more question answered that you don't need to answer on an email or live chat, which is important. You guys need to be compiling all of these common questions that people ask on your website and updating your FAQ page regularly because that will save you so much time. I have done this for the past month or two with one of my new stores, just consistently pulling in all these questions and submitting them onto my FAQ page so that my customers don't ask as many questions on live chats and emails. I'm fine with having my team answer the, all the questions and stuff, but I would like to minimize it so that they have an easier time running all of the emails and stuff. Overall, it's just very efficient to add all of these frequently asked questions onto the FAQ page. So again, this remote picture, pretty solid. And then they also have a sticky add to carts. These are pretty regular on a lot of sites now because they work well. And then they have one trust badge right here that is for payments. And then they also have this one right here. So best price guaranteed, best seller, money back guaranteed, lifetime warranty. That is a bold claim. I don't know if I would ever mention lifetime warranty because someone could buy this product and in 20 years, you're probably not even gonna be running this store. Someone could try to get a refund or a replacement model. And I just would not wanna deal with that. So I usually, I would like to keep it like one to three years warranty max, even six months warranty. It just depends on the product, but lifetime, I personally wouldn't ever claim that. And then I'm going to, oh wow. They don't actually have reviews, which is pretty interesting. I would have thought they had reviews. Reviews are also important though. That's one thing you should definitely set up on your website. This website, I would give it an eight out of 10. It's very well set up. They do have a lot of scarcity and they're trying to increase their AOV, which is good. But I think a little too much scarcity for myself, but they do have a sticky ad to cards and they show examples of the product being used. So nonetheless, they know what they're doing. They know how to properly structure a site. I personally would add reviews though. So maybe a seven out of 10, just because they have no reviews. If potential consumers are confused as to if people have bought and enjoyed the product, they can't see that because there's no reviews on the bottom of the product page. So I would definitely add that. But other than that, I would say probably eight out of 10, seven out of 10. This last product page is set up very well and the product itself is really awesome. I personally would consider buying this for holding my cats because my cats aren't trained to go outside. But if I could put them in here, that'd be freaking awesome. And then walk around with them, just like have my cats explore outside with me. That would be pretty cool. But nonetheless, this is a cool product and they are using the booster theme. I can show you guys right here. I just know because I've used, I used to use this theme so let's have this, yeah, so Booster Premium 2.2.1, and then they apparently did Viral Folder, so they tried another product. This is interesting because you could always see what people tried on their site or if they had an other, um, you know, other themes that they exported from another site. That's always interesting to see. So apparently they ran like a viral folder. I'm not really sure what that is, but nonetheless, this is a cool product and let's go through the product page. Off the bat, they have 161 reviews. That's quite a bit and I strongly suggest you guys to add as many reviews as you possibly can onto your website and then incentivize your customers to actually submit reviews a lot of people don't do that enough and it's very valuable if you can collect reviews, but it's also very difficult to collect reviews. So try to incentivize customers to actually submit them. And then they also have a save $52. So it's originally $90, but you can buy it now for $38. They also have multiple sizes and colors. And then they do have this countdown timer. I personally don't use countdown timers. They look a little too spammy for my taste, but to each their own. And then right here, they do have the quantity breaks. I strongly suggest you guys to use quantity breaks. Over half of my revenue is generated from quantity breaks for some of my stores, so definitely would suggest that for you guys because it's it's very valuable. And then once we scroll down, I can show you guys, they have basically the perfect structure that I've mentioned. So you have a little hook right here, never miss an adventure with your best friend. This is important because let's just say for myself, I'm like, oh my God, I can take Binks, my little cat, I can take him anywhere. If I'm going on a bike ride, if I'm going to pick up groceries or something, or if I'm going on a walk, I can put him in my little backpack and carry my cat around or dog around with ease, which is really cool. And it hooks a lot of people emotionally, which is what you want to do. A lot of people try to sell products just because of the wow factor. But if you can tap into emotions with the product, 
you can make a lot more money. So here it is. They have never miss an adventure with their best friend. And then like I again mentioned, a GIF right off the bat, which is very valuable. You wanna show the product being used as fast as you possibly can. This GIF also has captions, which is pretty valuable. And then as you guys can see, sticky add to carts, a lot of these sites nowadays are doing sticky add to carts. They work very well, but let's keep going. So then they have breathable light material. I'm sure this website has gotten a lot of questions as to if their dog is going to overheat in the product or not. So when you have this little GIF right here showing that it is mesh material that is breathable, that helps instill some trust with the consumer. It's not like my pet is going to be overheating in this because again, it is a mesh breathable material, which is very important. You wanna mention all the key points you can with your product description so that you give all of your website visitors more reasons to buy your product. And then they mentioned that the straps are adjustable, very valuable. They're just highlighting as many key points as they can with the product, which is what you guys should all try to do and aim for. And then they do have comfort for you and your pet. So now the next question is probably, hey, you know, this is cool. I, I'm sure my dog is going to be comfortable, but how am I gonna feel? Is it gonna be taxing on my back? Am I gonna hurt my shoulders? What's the deal? So they have this basically saying that it's going to be comfortable and it's going to not have a lot of stress on your back. So it's going to be very safe and healthy for you, which is again, another point that they've answered for these potential consumers. And then once you scroll down, they show the different sizes. So they're just killing it with all this content. Like they are not overwhelming the customer, but they're making sure all of these questions are answered for them as to like how big the large is, how small the small is, you know, is it comfortable? Can I adjust the straps? Is the backpack breathable? They're answering all these questions directly on the product page. So that's very valuable. Quick update, I'm editing the video right now and the audio actually started skipping. So it's going to be camera audio from now on. Just keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to get upset, but that's just a disclaimer. Let's get back into the video. This dropshipper definitely knows what they're doing. They have a well-structured site. And then they also mention the shipping times, the customer support, their money back guarantee, and that they ship worldwide. So I'm sure they're probably running worldwide ads or targeting multiple countries. And then they have a few more FAQs right there. And then I'm hoping they have, yeah, so they have reviews of the product right here, which is very important. Also, a lot of people just submit reviews like this or just showing the product and not actually showing it in use. If you can have reviews where you submit them on your website, showing the product being used like this, or like this, or like this, like that, those all work very well because now in people's heads, they see the product being used and they understand that it works. They understand that people have gotten their product and they are more inclined to buy if they see people actually using the product and enjoying it. Overall, this website gets a nine out of 10 Sebastian rating, which is very trustworthy. I would have given it a 10, but they are a general store, so I'm scrolling down. They have a lot more products, so it's not necessarily bad. It's just not my cup of tea. I personally like becoming that store that sells that one product, like the dominator of a certain product rather than being a general store. General stores kind of have a bad rap right now just because a lot of people have been scammed from them. So it is definitely a little tougher to run them. Nonetheless, this website is set up very professionally. I would give it a nine out of 10 at minimum. That's going to wrap it up. I gave you guys four examples as to how you should structure your product page. Hopefully you guys are getting the understanding of this. It's very consistent. It's sort of just having reviews, having a little bit of urgency, if any, sticky ad to cart, showing the product in use as fast as you possibly can, and compiling a list of questions that you may get for this product and answering them all on your product page. And then also having things very easy to read because some descriptions I see are very difficult to read and do not convert well for that exact reason. If you guys made it to the end, be sure to leave a like and click subscribe if you haven't already. I post daily dropshipping content for you guys. So that's a pretty big reason as to why you guys might wanna subscribe. And then also I post Q and A's and I also do website reviews on my YouTube channel every once in a while. So if you guys haven't followed me already on Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description for that because that's where I get all of my submissions for those videos. Other than that, hope you guys again did enjoy and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.